Hello everybody, it's your girl Connie Kenneth and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe because most of you are watching my videos but you're not subscribed. So just support me and help me reach the 1000 subscribers mark and you know we will keep growing together as a family. And you know what, I'm so excited for this one because Damaris has started uploading. I love this girl, she's just fantastic. And I'm so happy, but she's in Zambia. I thought you were in Zanzibar. So I need to know what's going on, but I'm so happy that you finally uh, uploaded and that you're fine. So today's reaction video, so like I said, it's from Damaris and Jenga, and so must visit Paradise in Africa, super lead girls trip in Zambia. And so let's see, so from what I see, blue sky looks like it's going to be very much fun. So let's go on this road trip together. Let's go. After being on a solo journey for quite some time, I was glad to be joined by beautiful, amazing ladies for us to go and explore the beautiful side of Zambia. So today is a beautiful day to go on a girl's road trip. Look at how beautiful she is. I love your vibe. There's something about you, Damaris. You're, you're fantastic. So keep doing what you're doing because you're doing fantastic and road to 20,000. So if you're from my family, my gang, the Connie gang, and you don't know Damaris, please make sure you check the link in the description below and make sure you subscribe to her as well. And then in a few, I'm going to introduce you to amazing people that we are going to be going with. Mm -hmm. But before that, hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, mm -hmm. and let's have an amazing getaway from Lusaka all the way to Shiabonga. Shiabonga. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Guys, I hope you like it. Yeah, so. All right, I would like to know how many kilometers did you drive all the way to Siavonga? So let me know in the comment section below. Let's get moving. Now we are coiling, getting the car ready, and stuff. In a few, one minute, I'm going to introduce you to amazing people. Lusaka, Zambia, which is the capital city of Zambia is one interesting city to explore even before we do the road trip because it has two different sides, especially Lusaka as a city. One side where it is well developed and looks good. And today I'm glad to be taking you to the uptown, which is like one poshy side of uh, Zambia or let's say Lusaka. Yeah. Enjoy some good clips of that. Yeah, I think it's, it's very uh, common in Africa where you have parts of the city which are more developed than the others if i was to compare the you know when you go to cbd in nairobi it's completely different from the industrial area um you know so yeah i think it's it's that's what that's why africa is unique in a way you can find all types of landscapes all types of business activities all types of uh you know uh urban development so yeah so i i get it. And the journey began. But first, let me introduce you to the most amazing, lit, beautiful. And it's quite hilly. That's crazy. You know, uh, looks like the dry season because it's quite dry. The roads look very nice. Wow. So quite developed. Nice, nice. Full of energy and best girls code ever. Actually, you can hire us for your next road trip. Mm -hmm. Meet Fatima, a Somali from Switzerland in charge of all the DJing music. Bonjour, Fatima. Music and photography services. Milika from Lusaka, Zambia, our designated driver and accommodation standard checker. Meet Empress K from Copper Belt, Zambia, in charge of dance, loading, and food qualifier. Meet Damaris from Kenya, the of providing entertaining games and the, the cleaner of the tree. <laughs> Imagine how fun, how much fun you guys had. I guess it was crazy, crazy. I love it. Oh. This is 
is one of my most interesting road trip for not only because of good company but as well as because of beautiful views on your way from Lusaka to Siavonga you get to enjoy a beautiful landscape hills and i have to say the roads these are some of the best roads here in zambia siavonga is a town situated in the southern part of zambia it is a three to four hours drive away from lusaka and i highly recommend any okay so that's around uh, 400 kilometers 400 500 kilometers well more four than five but yeah somewhere there between but the landscapes are quite interesting is it the dry season is it always this dry uh, it's a mountain region because most of the times in the mountains and the hills it's always very wet, um, and so it's, it, the the landscape is quite surprising. You know, mountains, and the trees. It looks like autumn in you know in Europe. That's kind of the autumn vibe that we get. You know, with the you know the orange leaves and stuff like that. So I would be interested to know: is it this uh, dry all year? Is it very hot in Zambia? as much as it is in, in Ghana, for example. So let me know in the comment section below. Anytime you visit Zambia, Siavonga should be on your bucket list because you get to enjoy amazing and going through some of the most dangerous and interesting adventurous roads. When I mean dangerous, I don't mean to scare you. It is more of adventurous than scary. This is how you can stay safe. So make sure your vehicle has the right brakes because even on the way, you'll be told it's your moment to test the brakes because they are hills and valleys. Another thing is rocks can be falling at some place and therefore you're required to be a responsible driver. All then to our designated driver, Queen Lika. Right. And do you know that mountains um, kill more than the sea, actually? Uh, because... I mean, you know, when you're when you're climbing, then you feel you feel, you're more like how do you say you don't have like proper equipment. You feel more comfortable because you're touching the ground. So people tend not to uh, pay more attention to be more careful uh, than when you're swimming. We can have a light jacket on and stuff like that. So the mountain kills a lot from the from the rocks falling, from people sliding, from this and that and that. So yeah, it's very, you have to be extremely careful when you go hiking or when you're not far from the mountains. I love your I love And especially when you have good company. I love, love your The other fun aspect of such a road trip is being able to see the livelihood and the lifestyle of people of the country. For example, in this case, the Zambia lifestyle outside the city and how they do life. Anyway, four hours later, we made it to Siavonga town and it is basically not where you come. So for you to enjoy a good view and a vacation getaway, kind of road trip and a ladies hangout, we have to look for a place that has the lake, which is Lake Kariba. And that entails driving in... Oh, did she say Kariba? Makes me think of a film, a cartoon, where you have the Queen Kariba. What's that? I, I don't remember. Let me know in the comment section below if you remember um, the name of the... Of, you have like an African child, Kiriku. Right, yeah, the, the the wicked the wicked person in the in the in the animated film is called Kariba. The offbeat and having a good time with nature, as you can see. Lake Kariba. Okay, okay. We arrived safely in the most beautiful hangout place for ladies. And I have to say, the views is amazing. And I will show you a whole tour of this place the next day when we have better lighting. But in the meantime, let's go out for some shopping.
the night is here and we have no other business than to chill, enjoy some warmth, each other's company, play games, cook, and have a well entertained night. Sure, they will not dance into that. I guess it was a it was a copyrighted music, so you need to change the double it with another music. with all this traveling or you I think you can write books Damaris and you're doing a fantastic job you've undergone so much through throughout your travels but you're still here and you know and giving 100 percent and still enjoying life you know wow fantastic <laughs> day here in this beautiful place it's been amazing it's been awesome spending some beach sort of life or experience here in um, Zambia mm -hmm. so as you can see this feels more like a beach because also the ocean has like this sort of waves that come from the ocean then there's a guy who just wants to get his boat ready okay. for maybe an experience because he just got it up there mm -hmm. yeah but it's nice it's amazing you should definitely come and see if you get a chance to definitely also what is important that i got to learn is that this is the biggest man-made man lake man-made oh. lake in the world oh in the world because that was the i wanted to ask the question is this like man-made or is it a natural lake so you answered my question okay all right and therefore, we definitely have to do a cruise on this spot. So stick around, hit the like button, and subscribe. Let's have a good one. Let's go. palm trees, you have the makuti uh, shades, umbrellas, or even the houses are made of makuti, so that's the palm tree leaves, so look, I love this kind of atmosphere. <laughs> so this place is beautiful to come and hang out, we have this up mm. space which leads to the swimming pool. Hmm. More place of accommodation on that side. Wait, we don't have to start the day yet. I just wanna stay. Even if we run late. Let's go and let's take our time. Everybody needs a break. So, of course, as usual, if you see me dancing to empty air, it's because the the music is copyrighted and I cannot, I have to remove it. So just in case 
just know I'm not crazy. It's because I had to remove the music, but we'll see, okay? So in front of every room, you have a good view, as you can see. Yeah. This is amazing. Wow. None of those views beat our view because you can be able to have a view of that and be able to see the ocean down there mm-hmm. and with the girls. So when you say the ocean, is it the Indian Ocean that is pouring on the other side? What What do you mean uh, the ocean? I, I can only think about the Indian Ocean. So let me know in the comment section below if you know. We need some food. <sighs> Let's see. Oh, here is the master dog. He's called Chief. Chief, say hi. Uh, hi. You see, he said hi. Yeah. And they're chewing. Yeah. Okay. I'm burning my eggs. Not alive, right? It's not uh, alive. It's not alive. Yeah. No, 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 no. It's not alive. Oh, she, she's but these girls over here. Oh, no, this is not alive. <laughs> Breakfast is set. Mm. As you can see, half ginger. Yeah, the ginger biscuits. I love those biscuits. Biscuit cookies. We have juice. We have potato salad. Mm-hmm. Bread. Seed or you divide. Because I feel when it's bought, it's not the best. I prefer making it myself. No, it's just. Now it's oh. just. But it doesn't have tomatoes, so yeah. Then we have some. Onions. Onions on this side. They I've been lying to myself. No, I need to get some help. Hoping you could save me, baby. Put our pictures on the shelf. So I'm over you. Oh, well. Enjoy your meals, ladies. It's not that easy. Well, I can show you what 54 US dollars get you here in uh, Zambia, to be specific. Oh, yeah, so this is the room. Well, I can show you what 54 US dollars get you here in uh, Zambia, to be specific. Yeah, so this is okay, so 54 US dollars. All right, and for just a night. Mm-hmm. This is checking out the. Sorry, I didn't do a room tour yesterday. <laughs> but basically, one room like that. Okay. And mini kitchen on this side. Mm-hmm. And closet on this other side. Okay. Washroom situation going on. And hot shower. Oh, it's dark. Okay. Very dark in the washroom. We then decided to check out of Ego's Nest, despite having a great time, to go and explore other. Opportunities.